here is a trench I dug for a new garden bed. It is about 20 feet long, 24 inches wide, and about 4 to 6 inches deep, depending on where I ran into bedrock and had to stop digging. So it's a, it's a little shallow, but it ought to do. Um, I lined it with branches from a tree we recently trimmed and those branches ought to decompose in the bottom of the bed. I'm opting to lay them straight and not stack them because I'm not looking to create a habitat for animals or anything like that. I just want to just want a garden bed to grow vegetables. So the next layer is going to be compost and any, anywhere where these logs are rounding up out of the ground a little bit, I'll tuck compost underneath and around each of these branches. Um, and then I'll layer with a couple other things. Now that I've gone down the line and tucked compost in between each of these branches and in some cases underneath where a branch might not have been flush with the, with the ground, I'm ready to add my next layer which will be ground mulberry leaves from our fall cleanup and I'll just throw a layer of those on there. So here's what putting the mulberry leaves down is looking like and I'm having a fun time looking at the different colors so here's our sort of reddish native soil and then the dark compost we just put in over those branches and this yellowy hints of green mulberry leaves ground up so that's what that's starting to look like I have a little ways down the line to go yet this is the pile of mulberry leaves I'm digging from. A lot of it's dry, the majority of it. And then some of it's a little damp from a recent light snow that didn't stick and a recent rain. So it's all going in the new garden bed, uh, not the whole pile. Well, I finished with the leaf layer and I didn't bury those logs very deep. In fact, you can see some of them poking up now and again. And I'm still within the level of the trench. So, yeah, I'm not trying to not trying to go real deep with the leaves. And maybe an inch or something, I don't know the exact level. There we go. All the way down the line is finished. The next layer will be native soil, sifted because it's filled with rocks. Now I'm sifting native soil back into the bed. There's the homemade see, sifter. You see how thin the wires are that it's going through. And then see how filled with rocks this pile of dirt is. There's my pile of dirt. Every scoop is filled with rocks. And on the other side of it, what's going in the bed is looking pretty, pretty nice. So I gotta go all the way down this line, sifting dirt. So if you go the route of sifting rocks out of soil you want to reuse, just note that the, the littlest ones are going to end up back in there, but most of this is good, good and sifted. See, there's the bigger, there's the big pile of rocks that would have been all through this uh, native soil. Um, 
if I decided not to sift it. This is just a tough area of my yard. The whole yard doesn't look like this, but in this space I wanted a bed, so here we go. And then you see all those weeds in there. And that's why after, after flattening this down, or raking it through, the next layer will be cardboard and that'll be weed suppression for this very weedy area. Um, and then compost and garden soil will go on top of the cardboard. So that's how that's gonna work. Cardboard layer is down. I think I'm gonna dampen it with a hose before I start adding compost. This garden build was a challenge for me and worth it in the end, I think, to add another garden bed to my yard. And it's fun to see it now producing. I realize that I was getting done with the labor of it and I don't think I filmed anything after that cardboard layer. So it should be noted that after reaching ground level, I put cardboard on and then I layered compost and store-bought garden soil. And so I just, I just kept piling that on. This is ground level right here and then it sort of sweeps up a little bit. So I did go up higher than ground level with that combination of garden soil and um, compost. And then I planted in it. It was a big challenge, but it's it's how I wanted to handle building a garden bed over here on this side of my yard. Anyway, happy gardening!